Barack is going to be furious about who just asked Malia to her first college formal as a parent. It's P.A.R. for the course to worry about your kids. Whether they like it or not, they will always be our babies, and we will probably be way too concerned about where they are and who they're with until our last breath. That's just part of parenting, and we all go through it. It's especially troubling when you find proof that your little angel is hanging out with those you consider to be a bad crowd. The Obamas find themselves in this position with their daughter Malia. The older of the two Obama girls, she's recently started her college days at Harvard, and not without turmoil. There were roommate problems and paparazzi problems and it's generally a new world for the previously pampered first daughter. However, none of that could prepare the Obamas for the horror of the proposition that was put to Malia by a young man who's obviously crossed the line. NBC Boston reported about a young Marine who would like for the daughter of the former commander-in-chief to accompany him to a military ball. A U.S. Marine is asking Malia Obama to go to a dance in a Facebook video. Manny Lewis says he almost didn't see Malia and a friend crossing the street in Cambridge, and now, he wants to make it up to her. The Marine in question, Manny Lewis, apparently felt a connection to Malia when he saw her on the street and he'd like to get to know her more. While this might seem like a flattering invitation to anyone, it must be a nightmare come to life for the leader of the Obama clan. This is the guy who was the worst thing to happen to the American military in recent history. His disdain for the United States military was obvious with every action he took in office. This is at best an extremely inopportune connection for a family who has had no respect for our men and women in uniform and at worst he's got to be worried about his baby girl seeing through some of his terrible decisions while in office. There's been no answer yet from the Obama offspring as to whether she'd like to attend said ball, but there will no doubt be fanfare either way. Hopefully, whether she goes or she doesn't, the sincere seeming Marine doesn't get his heart broken too badly. All of this is just weeks after Malia left the fold and the purview of Obama and Cohen branched out to start a life of higher learning. More on that from the Obama's hometown of Chicago, who seems to be very proud of their native first daughter and her accomplishments. The Obamas announced in May 2016 that Malia Obama had been accepted to Harvard but was taking a gap year. Her 12 months of me time, according to news accounts, featured an extended trip last fall to Bolivia and Peru, a journey reportedly organized by a Boulder, Colorado, company called Were There Be Dragons. Eva Vanek, director of admissions for the firm, declined to talk about Malia Obama but spoke generally about its gap year and summer programs, saying they operated in 19 countries in Asia, Africa, and South and Central America. The AIM is a cross-cultural, experiential education, Van Eck said. That means no five-star hotels or fancy buses, but rather home stays with local families, volunteer work, trips on public buses and often, language immersion. The small group trips aren't touristic. They aim to broaden students' perspectives about the world and themselves through these really intimate experiences, she said. The goal is to let participants become competent travelers and more evolved humans, Van Eck added. Last February, Malia Obama started an internship with the Weinstein Co., an employee there said. It's a film and television production and distribution company founded by brothers Bob and Harvey Weinstein. She hit the Sundance Film Festival in January, was spotted in Aspen, Colorado, in February traveled in June with her parents and sister to Bali and rocked out with her younger sister in August at Chicago's Lollapalooza. Because of her gap year, Malia Obama will join Harvard's class of 2021, an exclusive group about to get an expensive education. Harvard's tuition, fees, room, and board run $65,509 for the upcoming school year, though many students get need-based financial aid. Only 5.4% of the 39,041 students who applied to be in the class of 2020 were admitted, some 2,110 students.
Altogether Harvard has about 6,700 undergraduates and 14,500 graduate and professional students. The school boasts nearly 3,900 courses in 49 undergraduate fields of study Oregon concentrations. All freshmen must take expository writing 20, but otherwise there is no preset curriculum. Those admitted into her 2021 class are, by a slim majority of 50.9%, mostly non-white, according to university officials, who declined to comment on the former first daughter. Soon she'll be able to stroll Harvard Yard, shop at the campus store called The Coop and perhaps take meals with other freshmen at Onenberg Hall, the high-ceiling dining hall that draws comparisons to the Great Hall in the Harry Potter series. And she'll hit the books. University officials tell students to budget up to $1,200 a year for textbooks. The college experience is one the Bush daughters anticipated. As the Obama family prepared to leave the White House, they sent the two teens another letter, previewing life as a former president's kids. Enjoy college. As most of the world knows, we did, they said in one passage. And you won't have the weight of the world on your young shoulders anymore. We don't need no